uh, Victor, would you call it a museum or could you explain what it's all going to be? See, so basically the overall theme is to set up an ethnographic museum. Yeah. Okay. And uh, given the time and space and security, what I'm starting with is just agriculture. Hmm. So how many kind of implements you have and what 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 is the range of... In agriculture itself, I'll be displaying over a thousand implements. I see. All from traditional Goa. Yeah. And uh, what what would be, how would it be based on what themes? Right from uh, salt preparation yeah. to storage to processing. For instance, could you explain, you know, what these so many wooden implements are and how they work? Like see, right from uh, uh, irrigation implement like this. Yeah. Okay, these are all irrigation implements. Yeah. To different types of plows. Yeah. Okay, right from your danto to all the things that are not being used anymore. Yeah. Okay, to a, a processing unit like your girond. Yeah. Okay, what was used to dehusk. Ready? I see. Okay, and showing the technology there. Yeah. You know, like, look at this rake here, a, a wooden rake. It's yeah. not being used anymore. Yeah. Okay, look at that kuri, a sidril. Yeah. A what? Sidril. Okay. You know how they used to. Plow and plant the seed simultaneously. I see, I see. So what's the goal basically? Basically to for uh, youth children, it's developed for children, it's not yeah. developed for tourism. Yeah. Okay, it's developed for children, for them to know how self sufficient we were yeah. before. How did you how get how did you get started in, in all this? What I, I, I had started this years ago. Yeah. Okay, because I grew up with some of these things. Yeah. But your background is of being an artist and a curator or the... But family-wise, we are farmers. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I mean, in charge of the uh, Christian Art Museum also? Yes. In fact, that uh, and my course with Intech, studying conservation and restoration, exposed me to a lot of things. So you believe that there are many of these things lying un untapped and unused? In Most of them are gone. I see. Most of them are gone. Okay. Most of these things are not being uh, used. And would you suggest that there's space for a whole lot of museums in Goa as of now because we have so Very much. The past. Very what much. kind of Very museums? Uh, right now we're working in isolation. Yeah. There are a lot of people who are huge collectors. Yeah. I know of a guy in Santa Cruz who's got a huge collection of books in Konkani. Okay, then I know of a guy in Porpuri who's got an excellent collection of music. Yeah. Okay, I know of a guy who's got an excellent collection of photographs. Okay, the thing is we need to come together for and form one project for posterity. What's your range of collections? I mean... Right now what I'm uh, showcasing is just agricultural, whereas I have everything right from uh, traditional costumes of Goa, yeah. traditional jewellery of Goa, yeah. uh, kitchen implements of Goa, uh, implements that were used by different trades, Maybe furniture should, of Goa. Maybe we should just look around at your pots and pans which I think are very... Uh, 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 before that I'll show you some very very rare instruments, Yeah. Okay, which you know are very different, which you'll never get. Like I have a, a oil grinder which was last used in 1954. Come, let's see it. Okay, this implement is known as chaff. It was used by uh, coconut pluckers actually yeah. to monitor the number of coconuts that were robbed and the number of uh, what you call coconuts that are left on the coconut tree which are not plucked. How would they achieve that? By hitting this on the back of the coconut tree. Uh -huh. This got numbers from two to four. I see. Yeah. So there was some code by which they would. Uh, yes. Okay, and this takes you back to your Munkarayan thing, you know, where Toluk, they had to pay if at all some coconuts were missing. I see. Okay, they would be... They would pay a fine. Yeah. Okay. Here, you'll see if, uh, if they are being restored right now, given the final coat of preservative coating. Yeah. Okay, so all different types of uh, measures of volume. Weights and measures, okay. okay. Volume. volume. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, some of the things that I've realized, like a pili, pili of kankon is different from pili of perne, pili of ponda. I see. Pile of sulcet. Pile being the, the measure for volume. Yeah. All, all these are measure of volume. Of solid. Uh, items, yes, solid. Like rice. Okay. Except for these, these are liquid measures. Shears. I see. I see. Shears. Okay. Okay. Wooden. Okay. I have for milk and things like that. Yes, I have metal ones also. Okay. Okay. And what's this you were saying? Okay. These are storage uh, you know, implements. These are all storage for grain. Yeah. Okay. That's a coconut grinder. It was last used in. Uh, 1954. I see. Okay. There's not a single piece of nail that is used. No nail. Why? Is there a reason yeah. for it? No. Basically, it's no everything nail. is yeah. wood. I even met the guy, the last living guy who went around all over Goa yeah. called uh, Gulab Chari. Yeah. Okay. Who used to go because this, uh, it has got a very interesting locking system. I see. Okay. And it's made of a very special wood. I see. You know, which does not uh, break. I it's see. really hard wood. I see. Okay. And this guy, I think, needs to be interviewed because I see. he was he went all over the world repairing it. 
repairing it. He was the only guy who knew how to do this. From where and how old is he? He is in, uh, in his 80s. He is in Kalfon. What about this de-husking piece? Yeah, it's known as Giron. Okay. Yeah. Uh, mostly used by the Gauda community. Yeah. Okay. It is still used in some homes yeah. for small quantity de-husking of see. bedding. I see. Why is it interesting? Basically because it's, it's not mechanized. You know, I it's see. how they were self-sufficient using material. They would uh, develop things which would help them uh, make a sustainable yeah. kind of society.